Welcome to the photo club dot dot org. Today we have two camera accessories gripper and remote cord. They look different but they have the same function inside like a remote cord. We discussed about the remote cord in previous video. I was explaining to you how it's working. So we're not gonna tell you about the cord. I'm gonna take the gripper and I'm gonna tell you. If you wanna watch about the remote cord, go on my previous video and look at what's in, in it. But this is the same function as I show you now quick so delay delay it's something like the timer it gives you 10 seconds to get from the camera and make a shot delay give you more time which you can choose up here it's like hours minutes and seconds you choose <coughs> how many seconds or how many hours you need it long long it's for the explosion you can make in like as well seconds minutes and the hours you will be saying so what's the po point to make for the long explosion i can tell you just one thing like if you're using the infrared uh, filter for the camera you need more time than the camera can make it like camera can be open the explosion for 30 seconds in here you can make an even hours like i never use the hours i've used it like for the infrared filter Six, uh, 16 minutes for how for what's the point to do this so long because infrared you cannot see it through so it's need time for the camera to suck the uh, light from the inside so for the infrared like it's 16 seconds 16 minutes maybe less it depends on the time on sunshine so you choose interval interval it's between the shots like number of shots like you can choose how many shots you want to make it like 5 or 10 or 20 like so the interval gives you like Time you can choose like 50 uh, like we said 50 seconds yeah and then it will be like after 15 seconds it will be another explosion uh, explosion happen like on then like again and again so now you know how to use the LCD like cord what's the difference between them more like the corridor it's smaller and the gripper is bigger like if you put in like we say uh, to the camera it's more <laughs> camera it's more heavier than she used to be so the gripper you have all the time on your camera the corridor you can figure it somewhere like at home and when you need the corridor you don't have it the price the remote it's cheaper than the gripper like remote it will be costing you 45 euro dollars and the gripper will be about like 90 or more so what else like I prefer the gripper like I was buying force like remote cord and then I bought the gripper. I didn't know like the gripper LCD actually gripper because uh, some of the uh, gripper don't have it LCD. So I didn't know like that LCD has uh, the same function like the remote cord. I bought it to try it. What means uh, what's in LCD? There's uh, which program they have it or something else. So I find out that they're like the same but i prefer 
the grip or because many times I've used this button like to get the shots like so if you do this way it's easy to get then if you press in here and then you have to turn so your hand will be on your way to the he head so it's not so comfortable as a gripper so like as well if you want to change your camera we send me like for 3100 that gripper will be not suitable so then i have to buy we send me a different gripper which is suitable for that kind of camera on the corridor will be with that connection so the corridor will be working and more cameras we saying we like it will be about 10 or 20 different cameras on which you can use it at the same uh, cord gripper it's suitable just for camera d90 d80 d80 n so as, I, as far as i know it's like working for three cameras and the corridor is cheaper gripper is expensive gripper is heavier corridor is lighter it's your way what i show you like they're nearly the same but there's something different between them you choose what you need it like which accessory you need it good luck guys all the best from photoclub7910.rg good luck